Hello, it's me here, Jared. And today I'm going to be showing you how to change your Wii menu using Mod Menu Pi, which is my battery for it. Oh. Which is this right here. Oh. Hold on, my battery controller died. There, I'm back. Alright, we got new batteries. Alright. First, you need this the homer channel. And you're going to want to download this. From my download link on the DeviArt, the custom iOS installer, and load it. And then it should be doing, doing what you see up here. And it will be custom installing the iOS 249 as it is right now from NUS. But it takes a while. Just let it do it. What it needs to do. Now that's finished, you can now use my menu fly, um, the USB loader GX, and some versions of Wii Flow that you can only use with custom revisions of iOS once they are installed. So you go to let's see where's my menu fly. There it is, my menu fly GUI. That it should work. Here's my menus. I don't have my Xbox 360 menu. I deleted it accidentally. And then you go to your Wii menu. Once you load it in the menu. I'm going to say this is And voila. And yes, I do have preloader brick protection, and I have accidentally bricked and purposely bricked my Wii just to make sure it worked. But uh, when I accidentally bricked my Wii, I was using my menu fly, and I downloaded the menu, and I didn't know it was a bad menu. So, yeah, let's go to my menu fly again. 
You can download the channel from gbatemp.net, which I haven't given a download link for that. You have to get it yourself. I'm going to set it back to my default theme. Now, you want to make sure before you do this that you have the preloader because if you load a theme and it accidentally loads it, that's not compatible with your Wii. Like it's in a different region or something, you can break your Wii. If you don't have the preloader, you're screwed. So, you want to make sure you've got the preloader or boot me or something like that. And I'll show you in another video tutorial on how to get that. Now these, I have no clue how they work and you need custom iOS revisions to use them, but I think you can you use them to you know, like you use custom Mario Kart Wii tracks or something. I don't know. And um well that's pretty much it for this video on how to change your Wii menu and um look for my next video coming out soon.